safe upload has just been completed when suddenly 13,800 gallons of oxidizer start spilling into the silo. Attention on the complex. Attention on the complex. We have indicated the anti-vapor launch duct. All personnel the launch duct evacuate to the control center. Poor visibility makes evacuation difficult. The vapors rapidly spread throughout the underground complex. One fuel handler makes it out of the silo alone. Not following technical data procedures, plus haste and panic, equals a deadly triad. But rescue is finally begun. The rescue is successful, but the rescuer is in very bad shape. The blast door, blast valve, and blast damper are thought to be closed. The air in the control center becomes highly toxic, driving everyone topside through the emergency escape route. Most of the personnel on the site, uninjured. The rescued fuel handler, major injuries from exposure to the toxic oxidizer vapors. He survived. The fuel handler who made it out of the silo alone, he died later from exposure to the toxic oxidizer vapors. The team supervisor died underground. Two lives, what a terrible price to pay for not breaking that chain of events. Some of the blocks that built this mishap were minor. Some were major. Among the important ones, during maintenance, a seemingly minor component was removed from an assembly. The TO clearly states that this filter be reinstalled prior to the next upload. It was not. The loose O-ring seal wound up in the poppet valve. The TO has a prominent warning that poppet valves must be sealed when the disconnect is performed. A poppet valve was open. The TO clearly shows the stage one oxidizer vent must be open. It was closed. The TO clearly states that all personnel protective equipment will be readily available. The blast doors had recently been inspected using a safety checklist, which did not cover some of the components, like the blast door interlock bypass. The mishap is years old now. The missile complex would still be out of commission, but due to deactivation, costly efforts to repair have ceased. But death is not repairable. Fortunately, fatalities are rare. The overwhelming majority of Titan II mishaps result in material damage and dollar loss too much loss, and most of it from personnel error. Learn from this mishap and prevent it's happening again. <laughs>